Today we are going to install the new DRT Motorsports KRX 1000 2 inch trailer hitch receiver. This hitch fits the 2020 plus Kawasaki KRX 2 and 4 door models. Install time is about 30 minutes. Can be installed by yourself with a difficulty level of beginner. Tools needed for this job are a 3 8 ratchet, a 6 inch extension, 13 and 17 millimeter sockets, 13, 17, and 18 millimeter wrench, a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, and don't forget your safety glasses. So, gather the tools and let's install. Let's start by jacking up the vehicle until the tires just leave the ground. This KRX has our rear bumper already installed, so there will be a few extra steps to do, versus a factory installation. We have already removed the DRT rear bumper skid plate, using a 5mm Allen wrench, and a 13mm wrench, on the backing nuts. Next, remove the left, and right upper radius rod bolts. Do this by using a 17mm socket, and an 18mm wrench, on the backing nut. Now, with the backing nuts removed, lift the tire with one hand, relieving pressure on the bolt. Then, with the other hand, remove the bolt and set it aside. Repeat this step on the other side. Next, if you have the DRT bumper installed, you need to remove the two lower bumper mount bolts using a 13mm socket and a 17mm wrench on the backing nuts. Then, remove the steel spacer plate, and set it aside. Next, grab the hitch receiver, and slide the bottom of the hitch between the bumper and the frame, where the spacer was, and replace the hardware. If you are installing without a bumper then use the supplied 13mm long bolts, and 17mm backing hardware, and tighten finger tight. Now, using the supplied 17mm bolts, lift the tire to align the radius rod with the hitch holes and slide the bolt all the way through. This step can be challenging, and can be done by yourself with a little patience, but it is much easier and faster if you have a friend to lift the tire for you while you align the holes. the bolts in place, screw on the 18mm backing hardware, finger tight. Now, return to the bumper, or bottom bolts, 
and tighten them down. Then, switch sockets back to the 17mm, and tighten down the radius rod bolts. Please note, these suspension bolts should be torqued down to factory specifications. this point, you are done if you don't have the DRT rear bumper. If you do, grab the bottom skid plate, insert the supplied long allen bolt into the bottom hole and install it into the bottom mounting position. Then, holding it in place, screw on the backing hardware finger tight. Now install the upper two allen bolts and do the same. Once done, align the plate and tighten all three bolts down with a 5mm allen wrench and a 13mm wrench on the backing nuts. That's it, lower the vehicle back to the ground, and you are totally done. Congrats, that completes your DRT, Kawasaki KRX hitch receiver. This 2-inch hitch receiver provides a perfect attachment point for pulling, towing, or making use, of your favorite 2-inch hitch attachments and accessories. Constructed of 3 16 inch laser-cut steel, CNC formed, gusseted and welded to provide a simple and clean installation. This hitch receiver has a durable finish, and will be protected in the toughest environment you can throw at it. Until we meet on your next DRT install, be safe out there. If you have any questions during your installation, don't hesitate to contact us via phone or email. We are here to help.